Hey everybody, it's Jonathan here with Cars Sometimes. What I got behind me today is two brand new 2021 Sorrentos. I'm very excited to have these in. Full disclosure, of course, I do work at Kia. I'm Cars Sometimes. Let's take a look. So we'll be looking at two of the lower end trims. I know a lot of reviewers have been looking at the higher end ones. These are gonna be more towards the average buyer and I really enjoy that the fact that these are the first two that we got in, more of the volume seller. So, big difference. These are Canadian trims, so there's gonna be a few differences. The major one is we don't have front wheel drive versions in Canada. But, let's get started. Now I'm very excited to have these two in particular side by side because for the most intents and purposes, they are very, very, very similar, but with one giant key difference. So one on the left here is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated and that is mated to a traditional automatic transmission. The X line on the right, this is the 2.5 liter as well, but this gets a turbocharger and is mated to the brand new wet DCT. That's right, it's a DCT, but it has wet clutches. Very nice, so that's gonna help smooth out the kind of hesitation you normally find at DCTs, help with durability, help with those temperatures. So we're sitting in the LX Premium first of all, this is just one step above the base. And you can see that Kia does a really good job at picking what features go where. So even though you're getting an entry level model, you're still getting a lot of the features that you would really be looking for. Of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, heated seats, as you might expect. We still get the full blown terrain mode select. It's very similar to the Telluride. Parking sensors, hill descent control, heated steering wheel, auto climate control, just about the works. Now the this model that we're sitting in and the one below, again, has the traditional automatic, has a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated. And one other difference is these middle seats here. Now I'm gonna hop around back and I'll show you what I mean. So these are both three row. Three row is the only option that we have in Canada. The main difference with the LX and the LX Premium is that this is a three person bench seat in the middle. So this is technically a seven seater. And then we have our third row in the back. Now, moving over to the X-Line, conveniently right here. The X-Line and above gets the captain's chairs. So you get two normal ones with your pass through in the middle to your third row that I have folded at the moment. Let's take a closer look at the X-Line. Again, that one inch suspension lift. The engine under the hood makes 283 horsepower. Pretty good considering that this is a big SUV, but it's not as heavy as you might expect. Let's set them with the trunk. So again, third row, trunk space here. Underneath, Kia is very well known for their hidey holes. Let's fold that down out of the way. So with the seat fold down, we get a better look of what the cargo area looks like. There's a few really cool little things that we can see back here. First of all, for the third row, they do have their own climate control, at least here in the X-Line, USB, and they even get their own vents. That's awesome stuff. We have remote folding captain's chairs, so if we want to fold those down, click those buttons, and they just get out of the way. Makes it easy when you're loading stuff in the back. A few little interesting things that you might not consider right away is that there's a light right here. As soon as you get in the vehicle, there is a light you can flip on. Awesome. On, off, or you can op you can ha set it so it opens with the hatch. Little touches like that that make it really different. I love it. Of course, we've got cup holders everywhere. My favorite cup holders are up in the passenger door there, right on the armrest. Absolutely fantastic. So thanks for joining me at this very, very, very quick look. Quick overview on the, some of the lower trims that are available here in Canada. Like I said, the X-Line is probably my favorite. I just wanted to take advantage of this beautiful weather that we have right now. I'll hopefully be getting out and driving them and I'll make a separate video about, especially about the, the differences in transmissions. I'm really interested to see how that's happening. But if you want to come see them in person, come to Casa Garkia, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, Cars Sometimes. Have a good day, everybody. There's a train coming. We're gonna have to go inside and wait.